Okay, today I want to talk about the A500 Mini, a recent purchase of mine. I'm doing, going to do a bit of an unboxing on this one. Um, really looking forward to this, uh, great expectations. I've seen a couple of um, other YouTube reviews and it looks a pretty cool bit of kit. I'm hoping it lives up to its uh, reputation so far. So a quick look on the back of the box. There's uh, not an amazing amount of games for me, but um, I do. One of the big reasons for buying this was uh, the WHD load function that you could uh, obviously put your own games onto it. So um, that's the main reason I wanted to do it, um, just to get around the uh, issues that I've got with my. I have a fully, fat, you know, full fat version. I have the A500 Plus, um, which is, I think, the main advantage of this system is it is plug and play. It's easy. Um, you know, like I say, I do own the real thing. Um, looking at this, you know, it's 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 got all the modern uh, outputs and inputs, which makes it nice and easy. You can add, you know, other controllers that I've seen. You know, this is uh, it's a pretty universal little bit of kit. I'm quite impressed with it so far. As you can see, I'm a 6,269 serial number. Um, obviously, the keyboard doesn't work if you're not familiar with it. Um, a bit of a quick start guide, but I think uh, most of us out there are pretty uh, easily... Uh, easily find this easy to set up it's not been a major issue for me you know you just plug it all in and, and away it goes really it's pretty simple so underneath the main unit you've got uh, two other boxes um, one containing the uh, controller it's uh, it's in the style of the CD32 which I uh, I found quite cute actually um, one thing I do really uh, quite impressed is the fact that everything's the same color everything follows the same themes um, you know, even though it's modern, it all carries that original sort of theme to it. This uh, controller is pretty good. You know, from a comfort perspective, I've got no problem with it. The buttons are nice and responsive. They're not mushy. I think it's uh, it's had a lot of detail and time spent on it, and I'm quite impressed with it, really. Uh, moving on to the other box, obviously, this is going to be the uh, tank mouse. Now, as you can see, I've got big hands, so uh, this particular uh, controller you know, dwarfs with my hands on it. Um, nice that it's an optical, but it's not a red optical, it's a clear optical, so it doesn't emit any light. So, um, you know, you, you don't get that red light glow from underneath the mouse, because obviously the original mouse was a ball mouse. Um, you know, there's the setup, and, you know, what you get in the box, um, you know, it looks like a mini version. This is my full fat version, that's my uh, main system. But like I said, you know, it's a pretty, this is your interface, it's a pretty easy system if you just want a, a, a fix, which is what I really bought this for. Um, the menus, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the games are there straight away for you to load, including the WHD, you know, load packages if you want. It brings up an, a USB icon for your own game, so I shall be doing that at a later date. Um, your main menu, your screen, you know, your options screens, you can change you know, the operation of the LED, you can look at you can various filters and things. Up and down on the button brings up either save functions or the help function for that particular game, shows you what buttons they are to press. You know, you've got different language options, different screen options, obviously the shutdown options, factory reset. So, you know, all the options you'd ever need for setting up a device like this. So, uh, getting into the games, obviously this is just uh, one of the first games I've loaded. It's, it's a, a pinball game. Don't know why they included two on it, but there you go. Not my cup of tea. Um, this one's pretty good, Project X, so this is uh, basically like a um, Starfighter, like almost like an R-type sort of game, so uh, really pleased with that, it's nice, it's nice that they included it, um, it's, it's that called a quick arcade fix, and, and again this is the, what this machine is all about, it's not about you know, wading through endless setups and things not working and loading, this is a quick fix machine that you, know, you can you know, perfectly just lo load stuff up and away you go, so really really pleased with the way they've set this up. Now this is a little platformer. I actually quite like this game. I thought I was really uh, quite pleased to play it. I could have, I could have stayed on this quite a long while. Um, you know, very very easy to play. You know, easy to get round. It's just a platformer. Nothing really special about this, but really nice to play. Not particularly hard, um, but just um, fun. Really, exactly what it is. It's the quick fix platformer. It's not something you're going to be spending hours on, but. Uh, you know, really good in the in, in, in the end, really. I was quite enjoyed this little game. I didn't want to uh, move along, but there's quite a lot to get to, so we'll, we'll carry on. Okay, next, the Sentinel. This one's a bit of a weird one, where the uh, you take control of the robot, it's like a telepathic robot, and it uh, moves across like a checkered landscape and valleys, and you have to climb around and, uh, you know, 
get over which the uh, set well, yeah, there's a central which it looms over the top. Um, this one's um, this one's Simon the Sorcerer, well known point and click adventures on the Amiga, really well received, well, well respected, so a nice addition to uh, be included on this mini. Speedball 2, so uh, this one, particular one's made uh, you know, by the Bitmap Brothers as well, so uh, you can tell by the graphical style, that, similar to the Chaos Engine I think, and uh, you know, great fast game to play, really interesting, nice to play. Stunt Racer, um, another you know another well-known Amiga game, nice to be included. Um, quite difficult to play, quite difficult to stay on this track, but um, in, in its day, you know, at the time, it was uh, pretty revolutionary. This was pretty good graphics, you know, stuff that was uh, unheard of at the time. Amiga brought you know an, an incredible uh, amount of detail and, and speed to this particular uh, type of game. So it was uh, a real, a real changer at the time. This one's pretty cool, Supercars 2, overhead car racer, you know, quite interesting to play. It was, this was pretty much the, the style of the time, just that racing cars hadn't evolved into 3D. This is uh, Titus the Fox, so uh, just a bit of a side-scrolling game, stroke platformer, you know, you've got platforms you can jump on and you've got to work your way across the level. Um, you know, nothing particularly special on this one, quite enjoyed it. It's well colourful, it's nicely drawn. Um, like you say, just a nice quick fix. Worms, well, you know, what can you say about worms? It's on pretty much everything. Um, it is what it is. You know, it's a pretty good version. It's nice and quick. You know, it's well detailed. It's nice when, you know, all of these games benefit from uh, being shown on HD, you know, MI. Um, Zool, another Amiga staple. You know, you can't. there's nothing really you can say about this that already, already hasn't been said. Um, it's a nice colourful version, makes you want to throw it when you're playing it because it's so bright. Um, you know, not a game I can play for long. Just too bright and too colourful. Right, here's a Doom clone. You know, it is straight out of the box Doom clone. You know, quite an achievement actually on the Amigas. You know, it was, uh, I think, you know, considering, you know, comparing it to Doom, it's okay, it's not quite as colourful. It's a bit small, but... Uh, a valiant effort, you know, to you know, to put uh, a Doom style game on that. Alien Breed. So, uh, you know, we're moving along quite quickly. Um, this is a um, over the top, um, you know, exploration game based on the Alien movies. Um, so you have the the premise of this is you have to find the keys and some. You find keys to open the doors and you find money to buy you know weapons upgrades and stuff like that. So uh, pretty nice game actually. Quite quite cool to play. Another World, you know, again, on everything, very well respected game, I'm not really going to show much of this because it's been on everything. Uh, one thing that is cool though is this intro, so I thought I'd include the intro in this, I was quite, uh, quite uh, sit, well I could sit and watch this all day, you know, it is, it, what, when you look at how they did this, when you look at the technical aspects of how they created that, it was brilliant. The pool game, you know, um, didn't expect to see this on there, um, you know, it, it plays pretty well. Um, for a pool game, not my cup of tea, but you know it's there. It's uh, it's a stocking filler. It was uh, nothing great there, but hey, it it works. <laughs> right, next one, air cars. You know, another over the top uh, car racing game. A little bit more colourful than the last one. And plays a little bit. I'd say the uh, the car dynamics are a little bit better. Plays really well. Quite quite a fun little uh, racing game. This nice that they included that. Quite nice. Right, uh, Battle Chess. Um, I've not really played this much before playing, you know, before actually loading it onto this. I knew it existed and I'd always seen it, but even though I do know how to play chess, I, I really did not really find the time to play it. It's, you, know, I, you know, I've played chess on a real board, if you know what I mean, but uh, Battle Chess is not something that I've um, really played a lot of time. But actually, after viewing this, I find it quite entertaining. It was quite funny. So, uh, a nice addition, yes, yeah, something a bit different. Okay, could have a, you know, just a you know, top-down adventure game. Um, not my cup of tea. I remember these sort of things from the Spectrum era, and again, didn't really, uh, didn't really float my boat. Um, I find them a bit slow and a bit tedious. So, yeah, not, 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 not for everybody. Okay, Californian games. So. Uh, a bit of surfing. I was crap at this when it came out originally, and I'm still crap at it. 
so nothing's changed there maybe I'll get, get a bit of practice in now I've got the, the mini the chaos engine probably my top three Amiga games um, been playing it recently on the CD32 this plays exactly the same actually so I'm really pleased that I've got a quick fix version of this um, one of my favorite games you know, like I said you know it's been on everything it's in everybody's top five you know maybe top three you know it is a cracking game you, know, you can't there's, no, there's not a lot you can really fault with it you know I uh, love every minute of playing this um, I just would, I wish I was better at it Right, so we'll move along to the next one. And that is going to be... There you go. Blink if you saw it. This is Dragon's Death. This is like uh, an advanced Dungeons and Dragons sort of game. Uh, you know, not exactly my cup of tea, but, you know, like I say, there's different stuff for everybody on this machine, which is quite good. This one's uh, F-16 Combat Pilot, so it's like a bit of a flight sim. Um, incredibly hard I find it you're all over the place and die pretty quick um, oh, quite impressive the, yeah the graphics are quite pr pr you know quite pretty and the hood that you've got is quite good this is the lost patrol so this is like a um, you've basically got to find your squad it's uh, like a search and rescue sort of game so uh, again not my cup of tea this particular one but you know horses for courses you know there's got to be some out there for everything so uh, yeah, didn't pump a lot of time into this, so maybe I should give it a bit more time just to see what it's all about. But, like I say, not usually mine cup of tea. This one's Paradroid 90. So, uh, again, well, not my cup of tea, this one. It's a bit weird, this. Um, don't know why you'd include this particular game. Didn't get on with it straight away, so I've, I've pretty, pretty much put this one on the back burner. Um, so... Uh, Again, not really sure how to play it, not get invested a lot of time in it, so I'll skip this one and move on. Second of the pinball, you know, uh, emulators, you know, the shooters sort of thing, so uh, this one actually plays, I think, plays better than the other one. Um, I quite enjoyed this, I spent a little bit of time on this. I do, being a pinball fan, um, I'm quite critical of, of how these games play, and this one plays pretty well. I'm actually quite impressed with it, so, uh, you know. Of the two, I'd rather play this one. Okay, really enjoyed playing all these games on this A500 Mini. Thoroughly recommend it. Great machine. Great expansion properties. Really love it. Brilliant. So, uh, thanks for watching if you got this far. And uh, we'll catch you again in the next video. Bye for now.